Get ready for an adrenaline pumping thrill ride because season five may have come to a mind blowing conclusion, but it left us hanging with more questions than ever before. Brace yourself for jaw dropping moments as we delve into the unknown. Did you catch that shocking twist? Is it Emily or Amelie that made that mind bending appearance at the end? And that's not all. Prepare to be electrified as we explore the electrifying lightning storm that rocked the season finale. Is it the sign of something greater? Is Lila caught in the clutches of a cursed fate? So my fellow thrill seekers, don't touch that dial. Keep your eyes glued to the screen and join us on this heart pounding adventure as we navigate through a maze of secrets, surprises, and edge of your seat speculation. It's time to unravel the enigmas, unlock the mysteries, and uncover the truth that awaits us in the epic aftermath of season five. Get ready for a wild ride. Gabriel, fueled by desperation, seizes the ladybug and cat miraculous. But that's just the beginning. Tiki and Plog shed their disguises, revealing their true forms, and fuse together to summon the awe-inspiring Kwame of reality, Gimme. Gabriel demands Gimme to delve into his deepest desires and sacrifices. The tension escalates as Gabriel discards the miraculouses and wedding rings, setting the stage for an earth-shattering event. As the universe ignites in a blinding burst of light, Marinette shields her eyes, fearing the cataclysmic aftermath. The fandom finds itself torn apart, embroiled in heated debates, questioning the true identity of a mysterious woman. Is it Emily? Or could it be Amelie? The stakes are high, and opinions clash as we dive into the heart of this argument. Personally, I'm convinced it's Amelie, and I'm about to spill the beans on why. Gabriel faced an impossible dilemma. Adrian's future hung in the balance, and tragedy struck when Nathalie, affected by the damaged Miraculous, tragically passed away in episode 25. With Gabriel's own demise looming, Adrian's well-being was at stake. In a daring move, Gabriel was willing to pay any price. His fervent desire? To bring Nathalie back. The one person who had been a pillar of strength for Adrian after Emily's disappearance. Gabriel's realization of his flawed fatherhood and Adrian's need for Nathalie's care pushed him to make a heartbreaking decision. As the pieces fall into place, Gabriel leaves behind two symbolic rings and Nathalie for Adrian's sake. It becomes clear that Gabriel acknowledges the futility of life without Emily and seeks to protect his son while reuniting with his beloved wife. And that's precisely why we catch a glimpse of Nathalie's back at the season's conclusion and the woman by her side is none other than Amelie herself. But don't worry, if you're one of those who expected Emily to return, there are mind-blowing theories that might just explain the return of both Emily and Nathalie. Adrian was able to cunningly avoid a direct request, leaving us all guessing. But what if I told you that Gabriel's true desire was to fix the damage of the Peacock Miraculous at the beginning? In the episode Feast, we unraveled the tangled web of Fu's actions and the catastrophic consequences he unleashed. It was his reckless mistake that caused the Peacock Miraculous to suffer irreparable damage. But here's where it gets truly mind-blowing. The ones who bore the weight of this damaged Miraculous were none other than Nathalie, Emily, and Colt. That's right, Nathalie and Emily, thought to be lost to us, may have returned from the shadows thanks to Gabriel's wish. But the implications don't stop there, because if Nathalie and Emily are back, then it stands to reason that Colt Fathom, Felix's long-lost father, could make a return as well. But this theory sheds light on the incident that unfolded in the season's climactic finale. Every twist, every turn, every unforeseen event points to a truth more astounding than we could ever imagine. Cerise, with a sense of determination, concludes her conversation with the principal from the mysterious catacombs of La Plage. As she shuts her computer, a mischievous smile dances across her face. Little does she know, an unforeseen storm is about to engulf her. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a pulsating ball of lightning materializes behind Cerise, leaving her stunned and bewildered. The scene fades to black, leaving us hanging on the edge of our seats, desperate to know what awaits her. 
What could this shocking twist mean for Cerise? And how will it affect the story? In the wake of resolving the perplexing issues surrounding the Peacock Miraculous, a startling revelation emerges. As the universe meticulously maintains equilibrium between creation and destruction, every wish granted comes with a price to pay, a balancing act of forces. In this case, the price for healing the damage inflicted upon the Peacock Miraculous is the transfer of that damage to another Miraculous. And guess which Miraculous bears the burden? Yup, it's none other than the Butterfly Miraculous itself. Gabriel, aware of his impending demise, selflessly takes upon himself the weight of this transference. The damage caused by the Peacock Miraculous finds its new vessel in Gabriel's own Miraculous, the Butterfly Miraculous. This stunning revelation may just hold the key to the electrifying finale. We witnessed Lila receiving an unexpected surge of shock energy, leaving us breathless with anticipation. Could this be the direct result of Gabriel's sacrifice? Is Lila's fate intertwined with the unforeseen consequences of the miraculous transfer? As we gaze upon the scene before us, one thing becomes strikingly clear. Emily's statue is nowhere to be found. Some whispers in the fandom suggest that Emily's absence signifies her triumphant return. However, there's another thought. The missing statue, they argue, represents a collective move towards healing and growth. It symbolizes the character's journey of resilience and their ability to embrace new beginnings. The vibrant flowers adorning the spot where the statue once stood evoke a sense of rebirth, promising a fresh start for our beloved heroes. Adrian, in particular, stands at the crossroads of this emotional roller coaster. While he will always hold his mother's memory dear, he has come to accept her tragic demise. His heart aches with longing, yet he bravely forges ahead, embracing the present and the future that awaits him. Okay guys, that was part one of our season six videos. There are a lot more to come and I can't wait to talk about it with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and tell us your ideas about all these unanswered questions in the finale. I can't wait to read all your theories in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.